This is the Earth One, an electric vehicle inspired by Transformer toys. The ancient Japanese art of origami, or paper folding, applied to a car, which can squeeze itself into the tightest of parking spaces. The Earth One electric car was inspired by the Transformers, toy robots. Extremely tiny vehicles can park in narrow spaces, a robot-inspired shape that makes people feel like they're operating a robot while driving. This is the Earth One, an electric vehicle inspired by Transformer toys and designed in Japan. Now, the car can fold itself up to park just about anywhere. It's not ready for the road just yet, though. But that's not stopping buyers. There are already 30 pre orders. The car costs $70,000. Squeezing into a small parking space can be quite a challenge. But a new electric vehicle designed by an artist in Japan could make things a little easier. It's called Earth One and was inspired by the Transformer toy. Ooh. Four Link Systems is behind the futuristic folding vehicle. You see it right there. They say it makes you feel like you're operating a robot. <laughs> Kind of cool. The company hopes to have it on the roads by this March. It's going to cost you, though, $70,000. So, uh, yeah, take it for what it's worth. But you can probably find a parking spot a lot easier. Well, if anyone's parked downtown, yes. Instead of parallel parking, I would take that. It wouldn't be a bad thing. Be no. Bad. The ancient Japanese art of origami, or paper folding, applied to a car, which can squeeze itself into the tightest of parking spaces. The Earth One electric car was inspired by the Transformers, toy robots that turn into cars or beasts and back again. A superpower particularly useful when the Quest is a parking space in Tokyo. Extremely tiny vehicles can park in narrow spaces. We initiated our project to fold a car and transform it into something smaller to help with the concept of reducing parking spaces. The car was designed by Kunio Okawara, famous in Japan as the artist behind the transforming robots of long-running TV series Gundam, aiming for a new generation of younger drivers. Most of all, we wanted to figure out how to attract people who seldom purchase cars and encourage them to start driving a car. So we developed a vehicle which makes drivers feel as if they're steering something that's not a car, a 
a robot-inspired shape that makes people feel like they're operating a robot while driving. Four Link Systems hope to sell 300 Earth Ones a year and has orders for 30 at a price of 70,000 US dollars. The company says it's hoping for authorization to drive Earth Ones on the public highways in March 2018. Okay, so okay, it's it's called the Armadillo, and it's actually a car that can fold in half, right? So how does it work? Uh, it's pretty interesting. So the way it works is, uh, as the name suggests, it's like an armadillo. It actually rolls into kind of a ball. Uh, and what happens is uh, the driver gets out and then activates the, um, the bit where the car folds on in on itself, and the rear of the car basically comes over the top of uh, the front of the car and sort of seals it off. Okay, and I, I guess one thing that's occurred to me as we're watching the picture of the car folding in half is you'd have to get the car in the parking space before you folded it in half. So why would anyone want a car that actually folds in half? 
Uh, well, I mean, this is just thinking ahead, you know, increasingly in, in urban areas, you know, there are, there's a diminishing number of parking spaces. Um, the way that these guys at uh, the uh, Institute that devise this uh, are sort of selling it is that you can actually fit three of these armadillo cars into one regular parking space. And they're thinking it's going to be used in places like uh, maybe shopping centers or amusement parks or things where maybe, you know, space is fairly limited. So it's just one kind of smart way of squeezing more cars into a smaller space. Okay, and one thing we should mention is it's an electric car, right? So it's it's green, um, but how common is, I mean, how is the electric car technology taking off in places like Seoul? Slowly. Uh, there's still not many charging stra stations around here. That's changing. I mean, the government's making a, a push to kind of increase the infrastructure for electric cars. But I think the point about this car is, you know, they're not talking about driving it along the highway or, you know, take, really taking it any significant distance. So, you know, if you're going to be using this in a place like a you know, golf course or something like that, you know, you'll, you'll, the travel area is going to be fairly limited. So they'll have to make sure that you have a charging station nearby.